So my next step is to get these all songs sounding the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the one song that probably sounds the best overall. So I'm just going to do a quick listen through to find which which seems to be the best bass. So a song that might be typical of what the songs on the album should sound, uh, a song that um, needs the least amount of corrective work. So that would be an ideal song to choose from. So I have three to choose from. Uh, I'm just going to browse through these real quick and see which one fits the bill here. So I could go with the first or the third song. I'm going to pick that first one to start with. And I'm going to maybe A, B it a little bit with this uh, Story of the Year track. I'm going to bring it way down since it's already mastered. I know it's going to be super loud. Um, so I'm just going to A, B the two of those. And just kind of get an idea where I want to go with the EQ. We'll catch us like Okay, so I have an idea, just A being those two, what I need to do EQ-Y, so I'm going to just mute that. I'm going to need to take some of that edge off, some of that sizzle, so I'm going to start with an EQ. Let's grab that uh, fab filter. And uh, I'm just going to set it to natural phase. And uh, let's find that sort of sizzly guitar area and maybe bring that down. Yeah, that's what needs to come down. I'll bring that down. One thing I might try is switch that to mid side and do just the sides since I can hear that the guitars are hard panned. Um, let me, uh, where, where is that? Um, shape, slope, sides. The nice thing about using just the side is since the guitar is hard panned and I can bring that down, it's not going to affect the vocal, it's not going to affect the snare. It will affect the cymbals and the reverb a little bit, but I think that the benefits of bringing that down on the sides outweigh the um, detriment of it. So uh, let's just go with that. That sounds good. Let me add a little air to it. Um, I'm going to right click and make sure that this is uh, stereo. And let's let's uh, notch out some of the low mid stuff. Let's see if I can bring in, bring out some of that low end because that's certainly lacking in this recording. Now let's A, B that 
uh, with the story of the year track. Just going to see if I'm getting close to the right ballpark here. This uh, mid stuff I want to bring down. Maybe if I widen that a little bit. Oh crap! I did that to all of them. Um, let's grab this one. Widen it a little bit. So that's close enough for what I want to do. So I'm just going to kind of hide, make an act of that track because I don't need it anymore. So now um, let's just uh, go through and before adding any compression, I'm going to you know, sort of dial in an EQ to the other songs to kind of get it the same. So um, I'm going to A, B, back and forth between this one and the, and, uh, the two of these. So. <laughs> And uh, I'm just going to start by copying that EQ down um, and then make adjustments to that second EQ. Take a little more low mid out. seems pretty good um, and let me go to that third track um, The vocals are a little shrill, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a mid EQ. Right click, um, mid, and find where that sort of shrillness in the vocal is. Yeah, let's bring that down a little bit. Alright, so now I have them sonically sounding good enough for this class. And so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to add compression and uh, then edit them together. So I'm going to add some compression real quick. We'll just do that in this video. Um, I'm just going to use the SSL compressor. Uh, let's see, dynamics. I'm just going to waves. You can see I have a boatload more plugins than we do at the university. Um, Start by loading the uh, 
Steve Lily White uh, mixed bus preset that I like a lot. Into something new. This time I'm finally losing you. Through I fell back into my hole. I can't get it out no matter how you pull. Yeah, I can see where that compressor, especially with a rock band really kind of brings everything forward a little bit. Like I said before, it's like the rug of the Big Lebowski. It really ties the room together. So uh, I'm going to drop that in the other two tracks just for the sake of uh, ease, but I would probably slightly dial them down. I'm going to just eyeball them or earball them, if you will. good and down here um check that out all right sounds good so that's it for this step the next step will go through and sequence the songs and edit them so they blend together. Um, but that's just mastering the three together. So that's to give you an idea of what to do. We'll do more difficult stuff later on, like mastering for EPs, mastering a live album. But for now, this is just a basic, straightforward multi-song master.